Excuse me. Please, can I sit here with you? Sure, why not? Go ahead. Thank you. <coughs> Please, can you buy me a drink? Of course. Sure. Um, Barman! What will it be? Any soft drink will do. A soft drink? Yeah. Seems like you're new in town. Yes, I just came into town. I came to see a friend of mine. I was told she traveled. Now, so how, how come you didn't call him to find out if he was in town before coming? It's a long story and I don't want to bore you with it. Anyway, my name is Aliyah. And you? Oh, well, mine's Kev. Pleasure meeting you. You're welcome. Oh, quite unfortunate that I have to go. I was hoping you would help me out of my predicament. Um, honestly, I'm not in the habit of picking up girls from the club. Honestly. Sorry. Wait a minute. You don't think I'm a prostitute just because I walked up to you? I thought you're, you're decent, that's why I came to you. You think some guys have not made advances at me? And yes, I came to you. Sorry for disturbing you. Thanks for the drink. that way okay I only wanted to make my position clear very clear well if you don't mind I could take you to my house for for the night so what makes you think I'm not a prostitute well as far as I'm concerned I'm only moved more by compassion than any other reasoning you know, could have been my sister you know so what do you think it's getting late Thank you. alone or you're sharing with others well um, I'm sharing here with my friends actually um, my friend's brother owns here and he particularly gave me this room so I I'm more like run this house since he traveled you know being the financial and whatever anyway you're welcome okay you really deserve a bigger place and all alone Um, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to take my bags now. Okay, um, the door to the stream of the corridor by the left. Just get in there and take a bath, okay? Okay. Feel it and just put your things there. While I prepare uh, a meal for two. What for? At this time of the night? I am not hungry. Or are you? No, I'm not. I'm just only for you. 
You don't mind. Thank you. I'm not hungry. Okay. Just just go and use the back you know. My nigga don't burn rubber. <laughs> no, I, won't, I won't crash, man. Don't, I don't burn rubber. Hey, go sleep now. Who did disturb you? If you want to sleep, make you sleep. But you see me, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm not the sleep tonight at all. You did sleep before, not be all you be. Abba! We know see the kind babe we uh, can arrange tonight. You know, babe, sweet, man. <laughs> May God help you. Amen. Oh, God forgive you. <laughs> Girl, sweet. We test them. The girl and a lollipop. Ah, you be not the part on our way to enter now. Me that girl go sweet you. I saw you talk. I saw you talk last week. That baby boy I carry come back here. You talk say the girl said. The girl sweet. He do this. He do that. Man. Yeah, what you call? When we enter room, forget all those things where you see all those in Italian parking. <laughs> Nothing did there. The girl breast flat. Like slippers, nothing. You <laughs> see, now you see her, now you touch her, now you feel her. Every time you just talk, now I go just accept her. You don't like her either. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Uh -huh. What do you want to do this night? You you won't go, beep Ken. Ah, God forbid. If Ken will go, then my Ken will just shoot me. Well, you see, you don't know want to be the only surprise me. Say, how can they arrange this kind of babe? I mean, this baby is different too. Ah. You know, say Ken, a uh, nice guy. Mm -hmm. Make this girl different too. And so you go to help all these girls, you know, help their younger brother and sisters for school, <laughs> yeah. sort their mom. See, at the end of the day, the girls will leave her. Check on that. Boy, go feel the king. Imagine how king go want to enter the room again. Go the knock again. Try go check, go check. Just check. This air no day mama alone. This breeze no be normal breeze. Uh, uh, you, you know say if it just be the wind, you know say rain never fall since. And rain if it just won't fall tonight. This boy, the money where they take train you for school, eh? The money na west. By this time of the year, now rain the fall. What? You, you know the uh, I've been at what I've been talk say rain uh, say we're not go sleep tonight. I've been at that one they affect us now. Be your prophecy, Prophet Peter. Anything where you prophesy and I saw you go to happen. I better come out with the from back and sleep. She if she back and sleep, my life. in my house man I'm impressed I must confess you you're touching my sensitivity I'm happy that you're impressed I had to show my appreciation 
for you harboring me. Oh, come on. It's, it's nothing. Come on. Just... There is food in the kitchen. It may not be that delicious because of inadequate ingredients. I had to make do with what I could get. I woke up early enough. Wow. There's something about it not being tasty. Come on, you know it's not as tasty as it should be. <laughs> well, how, how tasty could it be? Oh God, this is, this is out of this world, baby. Mm. I'm glad you like it. Honestly, mm -hmm. just make marvels, okay? And what? I said I only want to chat the girl up and not toast her. Uh, yes, no. Eh? I'm interested too. What, whatsoever, man. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Good day to you. Uh, good day, beauty. How are you? Well, as you can see, fine. <laughs> are you Ken's flatmate? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh. I want to personally welcome you to our house. <laughs> uh, see, uh, I'm also welcoming you very personally. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> welcome. How was it? Mm. You guys, why are you standing here with my woman? Uh -uh. I hope you're not trying to steal my woman. Ah, oh, damn, we can't do that now. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it. What's the possible with you bad guys? <laughs> you know that they are smiling like fried boots. Hey, I just see you around, see you around, see you around. Bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we'll be the come out now. Yeah, yeah. No, just anyway. Bad boys, I know them. You too. I want to thank you once more for harboring me. Actually, I wanted to go back to where I came from, since my friend is no longer in this town. Oh, um, wait a minute. Um, how long did you originally intend to stay? As long as possible. But I intended changing location if any job worthwhile comes up. Um, Alia, I'm asking you to stay. As long as you want. 
But would I not be inconveniencing you? No, 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 you will not. You're not inconveniencing me. Okay, uh, let's just put it this way. With just one day in my house, you have shown me what it really takes to take care of me. No woman ever or has ever done it better. You wash my clothes, make my food, clean my house, make me laugh. Oh, come on, baby. Problem. It's no problem. Come on, tell me. You look quite tired and hungry. Or should I get you something to eat? I'm not hungry. Do you have been sacked? Sacked? Why? How? When? I never had any problem with the management. They just came up with the decision that I'm sacked. I don't just just. Let's just so this. Go through this. One door closes, another one will definitely open. Maybe the reason you lost this job is for you to get a better one. You know, you can never tell. Sometimes disappointment could be a blessing. Hmm? It's really going to be difficult for me and my parents and my mother. God. Listen. What am I going to do? What just, just what am I going to do? Most of the time, difficult times push one to success. Do you want my candid advice? Look in this newspaper. I saw an advert of a person manager in an oil company. Why don't you apply for it? Can never tell. It might turn out for the better. Uh, this advert is three months old now. Qualified, I mean, applicants that have applied long ago. I mean, what? Don't worry, apply for it. The job might be waiting for you. Hmm? I don't think so. Where is your fate? Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Write your application. I'll get you something to eat. Sees you around, man. I hope there's a problem. No, it's no problem. I accept you if you have any problem. Well, I'm going to pay the Nepal bills, and um, I found uh, I had to look for you to call her yours. God, you guys know I, I lost my job. I don't have a job now. You know, I can't pay now. Well, you shouldn't ask. Me. You don't have a job, and you're maintaining that babe. 
Anyway, John said I should inform you that his um, brother is coming in from the U.S. And you know what that means? Look, his brother is coming from the U.S. He should be moving to a, a duplex, not a room. John has that question to answer. You have to leave this house next week, unfailingly. What? Uh, well, you have that to settle with John. I'll see you later. Come, come. How did you guys come to that conclusion? Oh, God. What what have I done to these guys? That's not their own, their brother's house. It's just pure jealousy. I practically take care of this house. So I, I don't know why. Why do you want to do this to me? Why? Honey, the problem is that you worry a lot. Sometimes I begin to think you're not man enough. Remember Bob Marley's song says. Everything is going to be all right. And everything will be all right. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, you just, you just you don't understand. I do, darling. I understand. But what matters most to me is your happiness. But I'm not a happy man. Hmm? Happiness will come sooner than you think, okay? Come in. you come unannounced? Nothing, brother. I have been writing and phoning to tell that I was coming up to Lagos to follow up on my job. Mm -hmm. Then did I tell you to come? I mean, you should have waited for me to invite you. Brother, you wasted a lot of time and you know I have to check on those that promised me job. God, God. I, I, I wasted a lot of time. Look, I tell you have my phone number. You, you at least will have called me. And then let me tell you, yes, come over. How will you just wake up and come to my place without telling me? Oh, 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 brother. Is it because of this guy that don't want me to stay in your house? Ada, listen very well. You're my sister. And I don't have any reason not to accommodate you. But right now, there are three situations in my life. As I talk to you, I don't have a job. There's no money anywhere in this house to take care of the both of us. Talk less of you. Right now, my friends have asked me out of this house. It's all right, brother. Don't worry. We will manage. Oh, she will manage. Money. Money. Let her stay since she's already here. We'll all manage. Hmm? Anyway, um, Aliyah, you already know she needs no introduction. 
It's my sister from the village, Ada. Ada, this is my fiancée, Alia. You're welcome. Brother, come and take my God. Ada, Ada, come back here. Ada, say, come back here. God. You, you see? You see why this girl should not stay with us? Don't worry, eh? I'll, I'll take you to Chakaruta Canal. We eat some pink cookies in plastic bags and wash it down with some cold milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But don't tell your brother. I won't tell him. Don't worry, we'll go, eh? Yeah? Hey, Kenny! You! The next time I see you standing there like that, God knows I'll break down your head for you. You are, I know all your antics. But let me warn you, leave my sister alone. John, the next time I see you with that girl, God knows I will fight you. Can you warning me? You're warning me, Ken? You are here banging someone else's sister and you don't want anybody to touch your sister. Look at you. Damn me. Peter, he's your friend. Warn him. Do you know what I'm capable of doing? Do you know? What makes you think I have not even kissed that her stinky, ragged, <laughs> smelly mouth? I'll go throw you here now. Yes. What's your word you said? I'm giving you just one week. You will pack out of this house. Okay, fine. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, you, here you are. I'm warning you. So this is what you came to do, Lagos, right? The next time I see you with those boys again, I swear to God, I'll kill you. And I'll send your dead body back to the village. Stupid girl. Try me. So you went and told Ken that I was standing with that boy. Excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't pretend. I know all about you. You are not better. Do you think that I have not heard how Ken, my brother, picked you up from the club? Well, Ken is my brother, and there is no how I will leave this house for you. It is not possible. letter from
baby, come closer. This, this is from Shell Petroleum Company of Nigeria. And it is my pregnant letter. Hey! God has done it! God has done it! God has, it. God has really done it. Hey! He has given us victory. We will be victory. We
occupy this house. Eh? But how could Kain be living in a place that looks like a burial ground? How? You're almost there. That is the house. Uh -huh. Come to the house there. You see a man standing there. Actually, he will direct him more better. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. God will give you a very good husband that looks like my son. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody here? Who is here? Oh? Uh, even if it is heaven, they will not put this type of gate. Madam? Yes? Now who you define? I am looking for my son, Kenneth Okoye. He works with an oil company. Kenneth Okoye? Mm. Oil company. Uh, my wife is here. They work for share property. Uh, maybe the Kenneth where you define. They live for any of those houses where they're there. If you go there, find out. Yeah. Where you get going? No, no close them now. Oh, oh, okay. What is the surname of your guy? See your name. Madam, I say my Oga. They work for Shell Company. Go find Kenneth for any of those houses where they're there. Ah! Here. What's the argument all about? Madam, uh, now nah, this woman, uh, you say you define Kenneth, uh, where they work for oil company. But I don't know say my order, they work for Shell Company. No, sir. Don't you know Shell Petroleum is an oil company? Oh, sorry, madam. Mm. Sorry, Mao. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, who are you looking for? Um, 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 I'm looking for my son, Kenneth Okoye. He works with an oil company. See the address. You must be Ken's mother. Yes. The oh, one. welcome, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Come inside. Thank you. He's around. Get this bag inside. Welcome, Mama. How's everybody? I'm fine. So, you mean is the two of you that lives in this big house? Yes, Mama. Uh, is the house too big for two people? Uh, who are you? My name is Alia. I'm Ken's friend. Uh, Let's go inside, uh, Mama. You're welcome. Mama. Thank you. <laughs> See everywhere shining. Hmm, this is heaven on earth. Bia, 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 bia. This place is still good. Oh, it's the air conditioner. I'm going to turn it off. Hey, you know we don't have this type of uh, thing in the village. <laughs> Sit down, Mama. Can I get you something to drink? Okay. All right. Can I pour more for you? No, don't. I will do it myself. 
Delta State. I hope it's not too far from your place. Mm, mm, mm. It's not. A guest place may be far or near, depending on her behavior to a man. Eh? All right, Mama. Can I prepare something for you to eat? Ah, no, 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 no. All I need now is sleep. I am tired. You know, I'm from a long journey. Hmm? I will eat in the night. It's okay, Mama. doing here? Why are you not in the office? Actually, I'm waiting for my mechanic. I can imagine I've been waiting for him to bring my car. So I'm hanging out. What's up? That reminds me. There was something you said you wanted to discuss with me. Hey, Pauline. How, how could you be dating the general manager? I mean, that's unethical, you know? What business of yours is it? Let me tell you. You weren't looking my way. So what else do you want me to do? But, but you know I have a fierce. How can I look your way when I have somebody I'm dating? Fiance my foot. So it's because of that girl you took from the club. That's the reason why you turned a blind eye to a pretty and decent girl like me, eh? So, what, what makes you feel you're decent? You, you're not ashamed. You're dating the manager in your office where you work. And, and you're so proud to say it with your big lips. Look, that girl you call a club girl, she's more decent to me, more responsible, more virtuous to me than you think you are. Hold it there, okay? No matter whatever I do, I'm still better off than a club girl, okay? Mm, that's your opinion. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but my opinion is that you are not virtuous. Very soon, everybody will start sleeping with you in the office. Except me. Whatever. Except me. Go roast in hell, okay? Mm. In fact, you can go roast in hell mm. together with that witch, mm. your girlfriend. Mm. You call your girlfriend, okay? Mm. I'm sure it's that king's girl that is looking after him. That prostitute. Chinelike, which one is a prostitute? <laughs> so you don't can pick her off from the hotel. Oh, Ada, 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 how many times did I call you? My prayer is that God will give you your own husband one day so that you leave Ken alone to live his life. Mama, I know you won't believe me. No, Ada, I'm not doubting you. But I'm here now. I will see for myself. But the little, I mean, the little one I have seen, she is federal. <laughs> a nice girl. Mama, eh? Time will tell whether she's federal or state. Hmm. Mama, let me remove my clothes. I'm uh, coming back. Oh. I know I brought something from me. Yes, something from me. Adia Beke, are you Biko? Help this girl.
how can I sleep when I've not seen you? You are looking very good. Thank you. That girl must be taking good care of you. Oh, she is, ma'am. She mm. is. Well, you're not looking bad, too. Mm. How is everybody in the village? Everybody is all right. How is work? Well, thank God. Manager. Cletus told me about your new status. It shows on you. But he didn't tell me that you have a very good girl living with you. And very pretty too. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> what? How? 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 You don't know her well. How did you know she's a good girl? Oh. You remember I used to fight my girlfriends in those days? <laughs> yes. That was because they were after your money. But this one is beautiful. God must have wasted a lot of time molding her. And she's she's also working with the Central Bank of Nigeria. What? Oh, very soon you people will be printing money in, in, in your house. <laughs> so what? Uh, did she tell you she works with Central Bank? Oh, 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 oh. You don't want me to know? <laughs> you people will be giving me new notes. Must be giving me new notes. What is the problem? No, nothing, Mama. I'm just, I'm just reminiscing my, my, my work, my office, and some things. Nothing. No. Since you now work with an oil company, when I'm going back to the village, you will give me some petrol to sell at work. <laughs> Mama, hmm? things don't happen all that way. Hmm. Okay? Anyway, hence you want to do. Do something up. Uh, let me see what I would do before you leave, okay? I'll see what I can do. I have an I have a very important thing to discuss with you. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. Can't it wait or something? It can't wait. It is very important. How important? So when are we going to her place to see her people? You want me to marry her? Capital, yes. Mom, what, what has come over you? It's not like you. You don't know how to work and you are giving your approval for marriage. Just like that. Look, oil man. With the little I have seen, I am convinced she is good for you. Remember, I am a mother. So she is good for you. Since I came in here, she has been taking good care of me. My heart, I mean my mind, has been doing me Paulina, Paulina, Paulina. <laughs> so, I Paulina mean, for you. yes, why don't you marry her? Okay, okay, mama. See, Ken, wow. if someone else marries her, I will disown you. Mm. Ah, what mama, I mean? I don't have to swear over this now. Okay, I'll propose to her later, okay? What did you just say? What did you say? Him. Okay. Why don't you take after your father? Go ahead and marry her. Propose to her. Or do you want me to come with you? <gasps> Mama, how will you come with me? Oh, okay, um, don't worry. Uh, let me just go in and eat something. Sleep. No, 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 no. Eat and propose to her. As usual. And her mama said you've been taking good care of her. And she's very happy. Thanks a bunch. Why thank me? That's what I'm supposed to do. But she's also my mother too. Uh -huh. Is that why you lied to her that you, you work with the Central Bank of Nigeria? That's what she wants to hear. And she was already accusing me of uh, sitting down at home and eating your money while you work. To defend myself. Yeah, defend yourself by lying. I mean, what, what if she finds out? Calm down. Ah, you worry a lot. She won't find out. I'm about to take a look at that. So, what else does she say? I know 
she must have said something else. <laughs> nothing, nothing more than that she'll be leaving tomorrow and next. You know, she has a meeting to attend to in the village. Bear ceremony, more like it. It is their policy of attending every other occasion, wedding, burials, and all that. So she has to go. So she's leaving soon. Sure, she is. What else? You know, you're hiding something. Remember, I'm a woman, and I know what happens. When a mother and her son discuss behind closed doors. All right, all right, okay. You want to really hear this? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm tired. Uh, I'd rather go to bed. Let me just rest and we'll talk about it tomorrow. I yes. insist, darling. Honey, you know you mean the world to me. And believe me, you're so irreplaceable. I mean, the fact that we've been, we've gone through so many things, you know, we've been through the bad, the good and the ugly. So believe me, you're the one that wants me to believe that nothing in life is permanent. A change is the only constant thing in nature. That change has come and it's for the better. For me, I still believe the best is yet to come. I believe the best will come the day I will match you or walk it down the aisles and I will say, I do. Serious, I know you're kidding me. It's not that I'm rejecting you. It's just that I'm not ready for marriage now. And I don't want to make promises I cannot keep. Let's just keep going for now until the time is right. Please do understand that I love you more than you think. I don't put me under pressure. I don't know how to manage pressures. Please, let's just leave things the way they are. Honey, don't rush into what you cannot finish. And what? That you claim you love me and yet you can't marry me? So why can't I finish anything? I mean, what is it that I can't finish? Alia, if you love me, we'd better fix this wedding and get it started immediately. Calm down. I will marry you, but, but not now. Let's just give it some time, okay? So, like, how many months are you talking about here? So, like, six months time. I'm not serious. Uh, I'm beginning to suspect that you have somebody else in your life. No. Because of what I said last night. Please forgive me. I love you. I don't want to hurt you. If you love me, why don't you want to marry me? I didn't say I will not marry you. I just said, let's give it time. 
You know, I've been hurt in the past. And I don't want the same thing to happen again. Same with you. You know, that's the reason I stay with you always. So that you will not have to bother. Or don't you trust me anymore? Oh, no, of course I trust you. Just that your promise of marrying me will keep my mind at rest. Daddy, you know if I have to marry any man, it has to be you, of course. Because we have come a long way together. You've been so nice to me. Something no one has ever done for me before. Please come inside. Mama is already at the dining, and you know she's going back tomorrow morning. Come on, love. Grace, Mama. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Don't forget, greet everybody and greet everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Mama. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. Bye, I think my hair is looking funny. But that's not too much of a problem. Tomorrow is weekend Sunday. You can walk over to any salon and fix it. Oh, well, that's true. But have you noticed I don't really like leaving the house? I'm wondering why, you know? I don't know. Honey, what's the problem? My, my earring fell. Your earring? Yes. Have um, you found it? That's your airing on and I I thought I felt something drop. So honey, what's going on? Honey, you ask too many questions at a time. Let's go. We know and just say let's go. I mean
now are you going to tell me what all this is about? I mean, just look at my hands. They are still dirty because I was searching for an earring that you're still wearing. Honey, tell me what's happening. I mean, look, you, you, you were looking quite scared out there. What's the problem? Sweetheart, I'm all right, eh? Will you stop worrying? I'm okay. No, you're not okay! Who is it that you were hiding from and made you dive to the ground like a, a mysterious kid? Who tell me? Now, are you going to tell me what all this is about? I mean, just look at my hands. They are still dirty because I was searching for an earring that you're still wearing. Honey, tell me what's happening. I mean, look, you, you, you were looking quite scared out there. What's the problem? Sweetheart, I'm all right, eh? Will you stop worrying? I'm okay. No, you're not okay! Who is it that you were hiding from and made you dive to the ground like a, a mysterious kid? Who tell me? Okay, I will tell you. The guy I saw was my former boyfriend. And I... Your, your I, boyfriend? I presume you're no more dating him. How, how could he be hiding from a guy you're no more seeing? You don't understand. It's a long story. And moreover... Sweetie, you better make it short. Or better still, tell it as long as it may be. Because God knows I'm willing to hear that story now. Let's get out of the car and look for No, 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 comfortable place. You're going to tell me that story right, right, right here in my car, now! Well, there isn't much to the story. Except that the guy we saw, his name is Paul. He was supposed to be my husband. We were to marry, but a few weeks to the wedding, I caught him in bed with another woman. That was not his first, second, nor third. So I told him I didn't want to marry him anymore, but he didn't take it kindly. I left to worry for Lagos. If he had seen us, he would have made trouble, because that's the kind of person he is. But, but why didn't you tell me this all this while? Why, why didn't you tell me? I don't want to lose you. You may not want to get involved. In fact, that's the reason I don't like going to public places. I just want this thing to, to cool off. And one of the reasons I told you to give me time to marry you. Are you satisfied? Well, it makes sense. Makes sense. Aliyah, don't get scared again, okay? Don't get afraid for nobody. I'm right here standing behind you. I'm willing to fight for you. I'll die for you, okay? But honey, please, don't ask me too many questions. It makes me feel uncomfortable. If you love me, take me the way I am. Don't go discussing me with people. If you hear anything, come and ask me. If you don't want to lose me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Come go inside. All right. Honey, I'm sorry once again, okay? Sorry, right, darling. You know, sometimes you get Sweetheart, come and sit with me. All right. Over here. What paper are you reading? Is it the oh, newspaper? Yeah, the daily is whatever. Right there in town. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, Yeah. That reminds me. 
there is something I've been wanting to ask you. You know, now that we've been catching up with each other's past, tell me, why did it take you so long for you to agree to take me to your house? Were you just being tough or you were trying to give me the impression that you don't like women? Well, um, the certain things made me decide to lay off women, you know, until I find someone to really love me for me. You know, you know most women love a guy when he has something to offer. None really wants to love him for, for who he is. I mean, for real. They don't want to give him a chance. Okay. Now, tell me your experience. Hi, pretty one. Are you going my way? I'm going to Ajegunle. Would you drop me up? All right, that's my way, baby. Serious. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Okay? You see, Ken, I have a problem. Though I don't want to push it back. Yeah. In my parents' house rent is due and the landlord is threatening to quit us. Please, can you help me? It's just 30,000 there. Ah, wow, but that's about two, two thirds of my monthly salary. Where do I get that from? Um, anyway, no problem. Uh, let me see what I will do tomorrow. I'll be collecting my salary tomorrow. Ken, I'm so happy. You see, the moment I saw you, I knew you were a person. Oh, God. I think I have to hurry home now to notify the landlord that his money will be ready tomorrow. Please, I mean, I'll, I'll be with you tomorrow, but by then I'll be all yours, okay? Sorry, I have to go now. Okay. You mean you can't kiss me? Yeah. But not a kiss? told my mom about you. Ah, yeah. nice, nice. She waited to meet with you, but she has gone out for a meeting time. Okay? Yeah, some other time. Yeah. Did you bring the money? Oh, oh yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're such a darling. It's my pleasure. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Don't worry. I'm coming to spend the night at your place, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you want? Um, actually, the car is not mine. It's, it's for my boss. Anyhow, shall come over. The car is not yours. No, sorry about that. Oh. I thought it's yours. But anyway, I'll come over to your office and I'll go to your house to clear. Right. Hello. When did you say 
全然気にしてないんだから。そうですね。そうですね。これも一緒です。My boss. You see, um, while I was waiting for you in there, he came out and I realized he's my aunt's husband's friend. So he hasn't seen them for a very long time, and he asked me to show him where they're staying. So what about the lunch dates? Of course, I'll be back. And but if you don't see me, I'll come over and spend the night. Please, okay? Okay. I love you. Okay. I'll be back. How are you, Kate? I'm fine. Um, where's Lisa? She's no longer staying here. She's no longer staying here. That's, that's, so where where's she staying now? Somewhere at Ikeja. Where at Ikeja? Number 45, Brown. 45, 45, 45. 45, Brown Road. But she never told me she was living here. Right? See around. She didn't tell me she was living here. Why? I've been very busy, then I moved into this place. Oh, yeah, um, nice place. So where did you get all the money to pay for such a big and nice place like this? Um, my uncle that came out from abroad rented this place for me and my cousins. Mm, that's great. Congrats. Thank you. I hear I got this for you. Flower? What do I do with this? Louisa! Louisa! Yes. Uh, Louisa, yeah. I'm, I'm on my way to the office. Okay. Okay. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, sir. Uh, I never knew both of you are related. Sorry, what? Me? Uh, yes. With, with who? I told him you're my cousin. Can oh. you sure have a nice cousin? <laughs> um, Louisa. I will send the caretaker car over to fix the heater. Okay. Stop over at the office and pick up his check. Bye-bye. Right, hmm? yeah. Sam, so now your cousin, right? Okay. 
can't you take a simple joke? It's a simple joke. Pretending not to hear me? Have we met before? What are you following me around for? Eh? And besides, how did you get to know my name? Oh. Now you don't know me, right? You don't know me. Oh God. Wonder shall never end. So upon eating all my money, all the school fees I was paying for you, all the handouts, everything, now you're telling me you don't know me? Angela! Now look here. Do I look like a student to you? Eh? I work, okay? So I advise you go look for the girl you are paying her school fees. And get out of here, as you can see. I'm talking with someone special. Are you bro? So someone special because you are in his he has a car, right? Tomorrow somebody else with an E-class will come and remove you. Next tomorrow another person with a jeep will come and become someone more special, right? Oh God, you're an ashy. Call me whatever you like. The bottom line is I don't know you. No, just care. Just, just go. Ashy, 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 wrong scare. She ain't going from car to car. Car to car. Body industry. Girls. All these girls. Ah! Oh my God, I'm crazy, man. I never hurt any of them. There were several others. Ah, after all the disappointments, I, I decided to lay off women. I'm so sorry. Are you still disappointed? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. This, this is one disappointment that has turned into a blessing. You know? If, if I was still seeing any of those girls, I, I wouldn't have been to the club and I would not have seen you. And if that man we saw at the restaurant had loved me the way I loved him, you would not have seen me in that club. Hmm. So you see, it's a case of two disappointments joining into a strong blessing. Thank God I met you. God bless the day I found you. Amen. Mm. That fulfills my mission. I am happy that I've brought happiness into your life through love and good luck. I have to go then. Let's go inside. Let me prove how much I love you.
Maria. Alia. This is 5.30 a.m. I was looking for you and you were not. Where did you go? What kind of question is that? I'm here with you and you're asking me where did I go? Oh, I had a bad dream. And, and I was looking for you.
Nobody is staring at me. I was only admiring you. Oh, is it wrong to admire someone you love? Are you happy with life, with yourself? I'm happy. And considering where I came from, I've come a long way. Are you content? I am content. Then I would like to move on. I would like to travel to see my mother at home. I also want to advise you. Don't always want to get to the bottom of all miseries. You could lose what you have in the process. Uh, why, why are you speaking in riddles? Riddles. Well, um, I don't know what you mean, but uh, I think no matter what, I love you and I'll always stand by you. I don't want to lose you, Aliyah. Um, do you mind if we step out? I mean, step out a little, you know? You know, um, I need some fresh air, you know? You go ahead. I have some things to tidy up in the house. Okay, um, I won't be long. You can. Yes. Take care of yourself. Whatever is it that is good, go for it, irrespective of what people say. I love you. Who's that? Aliyah. Hmm. Aliyah. I wonder what you want to know about Aliyah. It's been such a long time. Aliyah. You know, we never value anything until we lose it. All right. She told me you were both planning to get married at the moment. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, why not? Well, Aliyah, she, she was she was an angel. And since I lost her, I've not been able to find any other woman to satisfy me the way that she, she did. And, and I, I'm still single. I'm single until the date, and I don't think I will marry anybody else. You know? After, after I lost my job, it was like something just came over me. Every woman that I met, I wanted to sleep with. You know, it was like somebody just opened the floodgate. And, you know, I was like I was compensating for the loss of my job. You know, you know when they say that um, 
An idle mind is the devil's, devil's workshop. workshop. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that was me. You know, they were talking about me. It was um, absolutely incredible. You know, I just lost out. It's not what you think, okay? It's, um, she's, um... What? She's, she's, she's our neighbor. We were just... Just what? Having sex? No, no. Don't I satisfy you? It wasn't sex, um, Alia. Patients go now. Get up and leave. You want me to leave, huh? Because of this little boy here. Okay. I will. Okay. I will go. We shall see. Sorry. It's not what you think. I, I didn't know you were Oh, so come this back. is what you do when I'm not around? No problem. Go ahead. Catch one. Okay? I have two permission from the office just to go to the market, get food stuff and come and cook for you. But what do I see? A girl in your hands. Which means you are not hungry yet. No, 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 I'm hungry. Uh, Aliyah, no, 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 I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry, Aliyah, please. It's not what you think. She... Why you stood me up at the bar yesterday? Anyway, I took two plates of pepper soup, two bottles of stout, and I told the woman you're coming to foot the bill. So if you have sense, go foot the bill. Who is she? Excuse me, my dear. Why don't you have manners? Don't you know that when you enter people's house, the first thing you do is greet? Paul, who is she? I, I swear to God, I, I I don't know this woman. You don't know me. I don't know this woman from anywhere. I can't believe this. Ali, I don't know her, Ali. I don't know her. Tell her how many times I slept in this house last week. Tell her. Anyway, I'm going. But I know you come begging as usual. Look, I don't know this woman. Why are you lying in God's name? These young girls, these days, they, they, they're desperate. They'll just claim anything that doesn't belong to them. I don't know her. Mm. I swear to God I don't. You don't know her? No. Yes, she knows your name. She knows where you live and you don't know her. I'm going home. I'm going where, Aliyah? Don't go. Please. Where are you going? I'm going home. So that you have the time to go and bring her back. My God, what's the meaning of this? Is this what joblessness can cause? Couldn't you just give me a little respect? Every weekend, I spend my money, go to the market, get food stuff and come and cook for you to eat so that you, you will not feel bad about your joblessness. But this is how you pay me back. No problem. Have fun.
truth, Paul. You are here because you want me to come and cook for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's partly why I came, but that's not the only reason I came. Alia, I came also to promise you that you will never, ever see those girls again. Is that a promise? It's a promise. I promise you, you will never see them again. Okay. Um, but there is, there is something also bothering me. What's that, darling? Um, there's this business proposal from my friends. You know, it's about going to Hong Kong to buy something, you know, some things I'm bringing back. There's a machinery that I can use to start local printing here and all that. But I'll need about three to four million naira. How do you intend to raise the money? Well, that's, that's what I'm trying to work on now. I've been calling my brother in the States, but he has not been responding well. But trust me, the minute this deal clicks, I will marry you immediately. Paul, you're pulling my legs. I am not. And why not? Look, you've, you, you've, you've, you, nobody treats me as, as, as well as you do. You've shown me how serious you can be, and I want to also show you how serious I can be. In fact, before the end of next week, I'm coming here with my people to do the introduction. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Alia. I love you too. Likes him a lot. If they have decided to get married, it's okay. After all, I am not going to marry my sister. But you will um, do me one favor. I would have to take this message back to the other, other members of my family and then we would agree on a date for the traditional wedding. Paul is not a stranger. He's been coming after the argument. No, no. If they come here day and night and we know ourselves too well. I know my sister likes him. So he's welcome. The door is open anytime, any day. Well, Paul. So you have heard what our in law said. We have knocked on the door and it is wide open. For you to come and cut the lady in question. In no distant time, when they must have given us the list of things to do, we come back, pay the diary, as well as do other things that have to do with traditional marriage. Hi, darling. Oh, at least somebody is happy. Did you win the lottery? More than a lottery. This is a land document. It is. You can use it as the collateral and get your loan. It belongs to my brother in the U.S. He doesn't need it now. You're doing this for me? You're taking all this risk for me? I just want you to be happy. Oh, Leah. I've never seen love so pure and so dedicated and so true. Listen, I'll pay you back for this, okay? I'll pay you. Yes, please. You want a bank to give you a loan of five million naira when your collateral is just two million naira? Oh yes, I, I was hoping that this could be like a partnership between me and your bank. And when I buy the equipment, it will still be in the name you of the bank. You don't have 
an experience as a businessman. I know, but I have to start anyway, from somewhere. I was about. We will talk about this later. Just keep in touch. Have a nice day. I should keep in touch. Well, yeah, that's not very encouraging. Don't lose hope. They told you to keep in touch. Eh, don't worry. You will keep in touch. And everything will be fine. Because tonight, we are going to pray as we have never prayed before. You see that job? That job. You will get it. Don't worry, okay? Well, first of all, let me get you something to eat. Hmm? I just want to let you know that I like the way you encourage me. I don't know what I'll do without you. Thank you. I just want you to be happy. I'm trying. Everything will be fine. Let me get your food. to be disturbed. Okay. See you. Please, sit. Don't you think you deserve something better than this? Um, oh, of course. Um, in time, I know that, you know, I will. We, we will. Please. Thank you. So, something to drink? Um, no, no, no. I'm okay. So, what have you been doing all this while? Um, well, I, I, I've been trying to get a job. Since my bank went under, um, but it's just been one tale of rejection or the other. But I, I, I'll be more than grateful if I can get a job from your bank, um, if not the loan. Um, a job. I'll be really, really grateful. Anyway, all that depends on you. But I think you're lucky. How do you mean? I mean, my car breaking down in front of your house mm -hmm. and you, an applicant in my office. Is it luck or is it destiny? Or is it the fact that you were a handsome man They finish with the car. I'll be there in the morning. So, who is this? Oh, um, this is um, uh, Aliyah. Aliyah is my fiance. Um, Aliyah, this is the, the the general manager of the bank where I'm applying for the loan. Oh. So, Pleased to meet you. Here, this is my card. Call me and I'll tell you where to meet me. Take care. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Am I lucky or what? <laughs> you know, I was just standing out there when 
you know, I, I, I saw her ka, bent down and <laughs> this is my lucky. Well, you may be lucky, but I don't like her. to Nandi's house from where we were gisting and gisting and gisting and then I completely lost track of time. By the time I realized what was happening, I got into the car, started driving and the car broke down. No mechanic, nobody to help me push nothing. Oh. Would you believe I had to sleep inside the car until this morning? Oh, poor you. It must have been terrible for you. It was. Oh. It was. I was worried all night and I kept trying your number. I was calling you too before my phone, my battery went out. I, I, I couldn't get through to you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, you will have a good sleep. Let me get you something hot to drink. Thank you. Well, well wait, wait. Um, it's not all bad news, okay? There's some good news. The bank has given me the job. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> They decided to make me the chief operations manager in a small branch, you know. Uh, they'll give me an official car and then they'll give me a place to stay as well. Oh, <laughs> darling, I'm so excited now. Oh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> and you know what else? Um, since the rent, you know, I should just move out and join another member. Oh, yeah. This is let me get you something to eat, eh? Later we can now go out and celebrate it, okay, honey? <laughs> God is good. Oh. He has done me well of oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Saturday. Where's the place? Okay, just give me like 30 minutes. Let me change it to something better. Yes, madam. Do I have a scheduled appointment? Go ahead, yeah. 
What, what really happened? Honey, you won't believe it. I got to the airport and my dad called to say he was coming into Nigeria. I didn't see any need of traveling anymore. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome. I have to go and get out of there. Okay. Meet me upstairs, okay? I will. I'll be there soon. Shamed of yourself, Paul. Oh. Guest house indeed. Paul. Darling, it's that? all right, Paul. Slow down. For the two million for uh, from uh, CBN, yes. Okay, go on. I'm listening. From uh, Central. Well, I mean, that's why I had to. Get the land document since you no longer need it. Please. So it's now darling because she's not here. Please let me have the land document and I'll bid you farewell. Don't, don't, don't do me like this. Please. I can't do anything. So i will do it for you. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> please, listen. It's just for you. Why do you have to do me about this? Well, I'm not <laughs> It's just a while longer, right? It's, it's very special circumstances. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you?
that question. And, uh, but I know that Aaliyah's parents haven't really forgiven me until they. of totally don't the money on your mind I'm talking about is very much alive and still in my and Aliyah in this country. Because I named her. That's, that's right, this Aaliyah, she's alive in my house. I don't want to joke about this. If you are in doubt, I will give you her parents' address and you can go there and verify for yourself. My house is just around.
Oh, that's chocolate pie.